Alright, you already know who it is. Mr. Extra, Team Extra, Dueling Guard ad, insert here. Just kidding. But seriously, guys, check out the boxes. They're great. You should look them up. Team Extra at checkout, one word, capital T, capital X. Look it up. Still waiting on mine in the mail. They'll be coming out soon. You should go look at it and get one, some of them binders. Jump on it. Let's get it. Alright guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. As always, you already know. I got another deck profile for you. So, you guys already know I've been tinkering Mana DM, right? So, this is Scareclaw Mana DM. This is Scareclaw Mana DM deck profile. It's got a little bit more Scareclaw package into it. It's more, a little bit Scareclaw heavy. Anyways, we're, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First off, we are going to start off with the hand traps, right? Hand traps are always important, and we're gonna put, we're gonna just start with the hand traps, guys. Three draws, it's still pretty good. Even post bandless, it's still pretty good. And this is a Scareclaw Mana Dam post bandless, by the way, guys. So there's no more gamma. There's no point running gamma as a one up, realistically, and the Prisma package is bad. So we have three draw because it still hits most of the decks. Three Ash Blossoms. Three Imperms. Three draw, three ash, three imperms, right? And that realistically, so we're running a nine hand trap count in the main, anyways, in the main. Just remember that. So we're gonna go ahead and get these out of here for you guys, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get into our uh, scare claw package, right? So let me find the main man himself. You're gonna run right card up two. You do not need three because you're still running man. You're still running mana DM cards. You're still running room heart. You have like three is not needed in my personal preference, right? So you're gonna run three right card, and this is your general searcher, searcher rival, search whatever, and two acro. Acro is pretty nice. Acro is the one that makes your try hard gain attack based off of um, cards in defense mode. I believe it's yours, but yeah. Uh, two Astra. Astra is the multiple attacks. And then one balloon. Now, I've been on the fence with this because this is kind of a big package. I feel like it's fine, right? And, you know, this deck does some craziness. You'll see the extra deck's kind of wild for what I am play testing for you guys. Um, balloon does piercing, right? But realistically, this is a pretty good amount of uh, Scareclaw names to just kind of get you going, right? So that's your Scareclaw names anyways. Well, we're going to go ahead and put those out of the way too. Alright, so let's elaborate the other um, scare call stuff. You're going to run two arrival because it's, it's necessary at two. It is a soft, by the way, guys. Don't let someone tell you it's not. Two arrival, two wreck phobia. Um, wreck phobia is your searcher. One defanging, and defanging is very situational. Typically, I use it to make try hard a little harder to get rid of. And then plus they can't imperm try hard defangs on the field. And then I also use the other effects because um when try hard kills stuff by battle, our vices does. The link one, light heart, you're not killing anything with light heart, but when they kill a monster by battle, defanging will banish the monster. So I mean anything outside of cash tier, this is kind of disruptive to an extent. And then it has another effect, so it has the target protection, the banishing thing, and then the third thing is um you can banish like uh, a link one, so like your light heart, your try heart that's in your graveyard, and then uh, a pop card in the field. And then lastly, uh, twin saw. Twin saw, super situational. Might even side deck this, but for now it is in the main. This is really good to remove like floodgates and stuff when you go into like, I don't know, try hard or you have light heart, you're working your way up into your like your scareclaw lines before you do your man of the M lines or one way or the other, and you need something to basically black out their field. It's really good. It's worth it, in my opinion. On Friday, I actually forgot to bring this card with me, so I played the tournament without it. I did okay, but realistically, I just, you know, you lose a dice roll, you lose a dice roll. That's like what this all little current is, so we're going to take those out the way, too. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start to the other side of this deck. We've done hand traps. We've done Scareclaw stuff. Now we're going to do the Mana DM stuff. And as always, with Scareclaw Man at DM, we have our Bridger, our Mr. Uh, Postaboy himself, Vices. 
Biases is an immediate three up. Don't even question it because you can you if you do your combo correctly, you're gonna end up fat board and put two of these in the graveyard depending on how you uh how you want to do it. But he is like the main poster boy. He lets you do a lot of stuff. And with your increased Scareclaw package, your main deck Scareclaw monsters, aside from obviously Reichhardt, you can Vices pop from some of the Vices too. So, three up for Vices, not even up for discussion to be completely honest. Alright, we run Rimheart as a three up as well. Let me go find a third one. Um, if you've seen the other videos, this is pretty straightforward. Rimheart um, does a search for Vanda Diem cards, he pretty much searches anything you need. And, I mean, typically, nine times out of ten, if you do not have Calarium in rotation, you're going to search for Obsession, and then you're going to use it to pop, like, one of your orbs, for example, to uh, put Calarium in rotation, because it'll let you get access to Calarium. And then, so, Roomheart does a search. Roomheart can pop, like, Scareclaw, well, Reichhardt. Wise in hand a special so you can dodge in perm that way on your right cart. And then you can also um, you can pop mana DM monsters like the orbs like Meek and Fearless, right? And then Obsession, like I said, it searches out the field spell and then right afterwards, whatever you search with the field spell, which most of the time if you don't have vices, you're gonna go grab vices, you can just banish this and special some of the vices and you can kinda just play the game, so to speak. So we're gonna take those out the way too. Alright, alright, so we're gonna go into the other stuff. You're gonna go ahead and just do a two Calarium. Uh, three Calarium is not needed. You actually run three Obsession, by the way. Um, probably could do a two up, but I mean, this comes up a lot, but two uh, Obsessions and two Calariums makes a little bit more sense, so we might actually cut this out later. So, Calarium itself, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, Searcher helps rotate your tuners out in and out the graveyard, and you know. Overall, just amazing card. Alright, so... Last things are, we run three Meek. Three Fearless. So, oh, and a Reframing. Reframing is your searchable Omni Negates. Another thing you can search for Room Heart, for example. It is very, very good if you don't need to search for Obsession, or if you're claiming Rotation, and you already got into Orb, you're going to be searching for this. So... Uh, Meek, you guys already know what Meek does. Meek, when it is destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, it will special summon another Meek from deck. And you can make a level 4, which helps you go into your Excel your Excel lines. It, it helps you get into Das Pater. Right? And this is not once per turn. Now, Fearless, and I'm going to bring some extra attention to this guy right here. Fearless's effect is when... It's the same thing as Meek, where it'll like special summon one from deck. Right? His effect... His second effect is when he gets destroyed by battle and brings out another one. Uh, your Synchro Monsters gain 500 attack during the battle phase and it stacks. So if you rotate all three of your Fearless, they're all gaining 1500. So you can make it to where you could pretty much, depending on your Synchro Monsters, but your average one's going to have 3000 attack, 2500, something like that. You can basically rotate three Fearless and then just kill them with two monsters, two Synchro Monsters realistically. It's a really good play. So that is all the main deck, guys. I'm going to go over the extra deck, and then I'll go over the side deck. Alright, extra deck. We are going to go ahead and start off with... We run two Astro Loud. This card is disgustingly crazy. Uh, realistically, I'm surprised it has not gone up in value. It is a soft, so you can do it multiple times for its effects. So you can special summon it multiple times per turn. And then just continue to chew up their field, right? So we'll just put the Astrolabs over there. So we're gonna, those, those are the only fusions, so we're going to go ahead and do the Synchro Packages now. So we have Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon I use just to draw a card because I was using Charge Warrior, right? But this is a tuner. And then if I use Charge Warrior, I have to basically run Imagining or go Charge Warrior and then use one of the orbs and go up that way when I can just go Coral Dragon, trade a flood, like discard a card, Pop a card on the field like their floodgate, their anti spell, whatever. It's usually anti spell, and then uh, afterwards sync this off with one of your level fours. Make a Baron, and then draw a card. So you traded a card out of your hand, popped a card in their field, and then you drew a card back as well, and then also still made your Baron. Cold Dragon's pretty good right now. 
Now we're running a high Scareclaw package count or a little bit of higher level threes because we use uh, we make Nat Beast. So how you make Nat Beast is real simple. It requires Earths, both tuner and non-tuner. Your level three Scareclaw monsters are Earth. Your Fearless, that which is level two tuner, is a tuner. Self-explanatory. If you get this thing out game one, you're probably going to end up making them scoop because. Your fat inboard is crazy if you go and interrupt it. Right? So your next one is going to be Excel. Excel is pretty self-explanatory. You could use the Gamma package to get this boy out, but now I just, um, what I usually use to get him out is I just pretty much use a level four Meek and then one of my level four bodies. So relatively easy, still kind of plays in the net, but I mean, if you're able to get into it, they're going to nib you with the Excel, and chances are, like, you want them to go ahead and get it out of their hand, and then you're just going to special your vices. And, because you can just trade regardless. And then we have uh, Baron. Baron's pretty standard. Negates, etc., etc. Negate, pop, good, good stuff. We have a Chinying. Chinying is crazy. Um, you put, the, what I like to do is I'll put Chinying out. Like, I'll, uh, I'll build board. And then uh, depending if I they're going, um, they went first, they put up some crazy stuff and I need to like heavily reduce their like field stats, for example. I will have Wreck Phobia out with Try Heart this. And then, you know, some cards vanish to cause like double reduction on all their stats as well. So, Shenyang's pretty crazy. Plus like you go reframing use reframing and then after reframing you get to set this thing off my framing hits the grave and you go to banish it's disgusting uh das peter das peter's crazy you use excel to get the das peter most of the time you get this card out you're going to end up going on a full board along with the try heart and the reframing more than likely and then uh chaos angel i would personally take uh chinning out for a second chaos angel but i only have one but if you have the choice take out the chinning for a second chaos angel trust me it'll just make it easier for you so we're going to go ahead and get these all out the way and then talk about the uh, link package that I am currently running right now. You guys will think this is kind of spicy. It's a little similar to my other build, right? So we run double light heart. We don't need three because we only search two field spells. There's only two field spells, so you don't need three, personally. This is why I like the conversation about obsession. Obsession could probably go to two, and then I could put something else in its place, and then Twin Saw is, flex, is a flex spot, but I, I do like back row removal. So Twin Saw, Twin Saw and then the Field Spell trade really good with trap decks like Labyrinth, uh, a Trap Tricks, uh, Altergeist, depending if that's where we're going, etc., 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 right? So we run two Lightheart. We run one Cross Sheep because Cross Sheep's amazing. We run double Try Heart because when you... If you're going first, you're going to end up strong arming this thing out, especially if you don't know what your opponent's playing. And then after they get rid of the first one, they almost never expect a second one. They almost never expect a second one until they start seeing a bunch of Scareclaw monsters. And then finally, access code, because like the move with this is real simple, right? You uh, you put out your try hard, you put out your little secret board underneath it, you pass. If they don't get rid of it, guess what? You're just going to normal summon something or just use your field. And then you're just going to make access code, access code at 53, banish try heart, pop a card, 53, swing in, along with whatever is still left on your field, which is usually at least a Baron or a Chaos Angel, and you're going to pretty much win. And access code has won me a lot of games already, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do the side deck, and then I'll cut it off there. If you want me to do combo lines for this, I can. It's a little bit different. But, I mean, you can... You can as long as you open one Scareclaw name, like one standard level three, which I mean we run to big enough packs where it's pretty good, right? Then you can um, you can pretty much almost always make Nat Beast because getting into Fearless is not hard. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into uh, we're gonna go into uh, the uh, the old side deck here, and I'll go ahead and show you my my latest changes to the side. Uh, three Lancia because people still like playing cash. They won't let the deck die. Runic is kind of dead though. I mean, this does work against cash or the rare occasion if you get stuck playing against birds. In which case, you know, I would suggest maining this, but I've already tested maining it, and it's not that good in the main unless your locals is full of cash and bird players or runic. So that's a so and so right there, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next thing. Let me find it real quick for you. 
I play Bell in the side. I mean, usually game two, your hand trap lineup goes from nine to twelve. So because you're almost game two, Bell's probably almost always going in. Stops super factorial. Stops birth. But I mean, if I have to, I'm playing against Cash. I'm going to put Lance in and set birth and set a Bell. To be honest with you, but um, stops birth. Stops uh, super factorial. Stops little remedial shit. It's pretty good. I like using it. It's nice. So you guys are going to judge me on this next lineup. This next lineup is kind of weird. So we have a Dark Ruler, another Dark Ruler, Call By. Uh, I don't like Call By in the main because typically if I get stuck going second and then I have Called By, it's kind of a dead card. And then I don't mind seeing it going first, but sometimes I just don't need it. And I notice that uh, Droll's not been as prevalent this last two weeks. I don't know what it is. Or whatever, but uh, still a pretty good card. So, and obviously, they want to. So, we run two Gadarla and then one String Kaiju. Reason being is usually game two, if I'm going second, I will side in all these. Obviously, Dark Ruler is like if they're doing fat board and I just can't break it, really have to use it. And then I'll side in all three Kaijus because if I open multiples, I can Kaiju one. And then special summon the other one. Makes sense, right? And either way, I mean, I can get rid like, I have no issue killing good Darla either. Now, my last thing is deck lockdown. This card is amazing. This card has won me games. It is a very good card. I don't know what else to tell you. It is a very cheap card. It is basically a continuous droll with extra shit. So, because what deck lockdown says is just, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand and they cannot special summon from deck. You think that that doesn't sound too bad, but it's literally Droll plus not special summoning from deck. So, you know, this is it. Um, let me let me do a nice little. We got we got time. We got time. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle up real quick, right? And we're going to see what kind of dry hand I get. I'll do like one. I'll do like one line if the hand's decent, which it can be a hit and miss, but it really just depends. I'm still working out the kinks. I mean, realistically, guys, the deck's crazy. It just depends on your matchup. Uh, we still lose the shifter to an extent. You know, the only time we do not lose the shifter is if um, we already have Isis in hand, plus a 1521 body, so a or a room heart, and then an orb. So you got to have a selective hand, but I mean, if you have room heart Isis, you're good, because even if the orbs get destroyed by battle, or do you just destroy them your stuff and they get banished? You'll still special summon orbs from deck. You'll still at least be able to get in like a baron with some craziness, right? So let's see what we get with this hand. Alright guys, let's let's see what we get. Right card. Ash. Ash. Oh yeah, we're gonna we'll we'll play this out. We're gonna play this out. Alright, so this is our hand right here. Alright, so. Um normal summon effect. So we're going to obviously search for exactly what you think we're searching for here. We're going to search for this. We're going to make this easier because the lighting's kind of weird today. We'll leave it right there. This is our hand. Just remember that. So we're going to actually go ahead and go Rekphobia. Rekphobia effect. We'll go grab like Acro. Shuffle it up. So we have two ashes, which is fine. We're going to utilize that, right? So we're going to link this away. Okay. We'll go ahead and make our, uh, our light heart, right? And then light heart effect, we're going to go add right heart. We're going to go add phobia again, right? And this is just for next turn, so we can phobia a second time. Okay, so this is the hand right now. It's not bad. Now we're gonna do a lot of stuff. Uh, Acro is special because there's light heart there. Vices target light heart. We're gonna pop. Special light heart effect is special. It's like yeah, it plays in the nib a little bit, but if they nib you here, you have this arrival. You can you can still make Astro loud right now. And there's kind of a lot that you can still do here. 
Alright, so this being said, we can go ahead and do a couple things. We can do cross sheet line. We can't go into Nat Beast, but that's fine. Because we don't have a Fearless in rotation, and we do not have a room heart to get to our Fearless. But, you know, that's just how the how the hand is sometimes. We'll still end on a fairly decent board with this just being Scareclaw related shit. Alright, so I am going to... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Alright, so I'd probably get rid of these two. Alright, let me link those away. And this is a, this was a shit hand, by the way, guys. You've seen the hand wasn't great. I had double ash, that's not great. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and make cross sheep, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and go arrival. Arrival to bring back the uh, right heart, right? Now we have a couple choices here. We can sink out. We can go to the try hard. The try hard play is not really the move right here. But we're going to go ahead and um, think or summon, right? So uh, we can go into Chaos Angel here, which would be kind of good. Or we can go in like Barone. Realistically, I mean, I kind of like Barone here in the case. But I mean, Chaos Angel made correctly is still pretty strong too. But it kind of loses to an Imperm, so. I'd probably make Baron here. So you go into a Baron, and we'll banish, and we will um, banish these two. All right? Go into an Astraloud, cross sheep effect. Bring back this Acro. Now this is where we can do some craziness, right? And this is our hand still two ashes and our Mycphobia. We're gonna, since we don't have a tuner, I would usually make another level 10 there, but we did not have a tuner, so we're gonna go into the other play, and yes, there is another play. Go into Try Heart, put it in defense mode. Now the interesting thing, Try Heart Baron and this, is that the three cards in defense, pop, pop, pop. It's really nice. Try Heart effect, special summon back Acro, and then Try Heart's gonna let me search, right? So here we can search for Balloon. But what I would search for is I would search for a recurring follow-up right here. Because we're going to get into it anyways. Because we go and then right card right here. Now this was a very bad hand, so to speak, right? But I mean, this was with like two bricks in hand. Ash is kind of a brick in this deck. We don't really need it, but this is a plus. So we still ended on like a Baron, a try heart, and then complete, complete follow-up. And we would draw a Fearless, which if we've seen this one hand one time sooner we would have been free to pop off. This is all I got here, guys. I have combo videos. I can make a lot of combo videos for Man Diem all day long. I got a lot of builds for this. This is all I got. Stay tuned as always. Hopefully my lighting's a little bit better for you guys. It doesn't look like I, or just the double sleeping is um, killing me. But like, comment, subscribe as always. If you want to see some full-blown combo videos and everything, please let me know. Some actual test hands. This one was just freshly shuffled off the top. And it was, I mean, we still made Baron, put out Tryheart, and had an Ash. So we still had a Negate, the Tryheart Disruption, and Ash. So three forms of Disruption. And then we had a complete clapback follow up into Nat Beast and uh, probably Chaos Angel, realistically, here, because Rykphobia would go and search the. Uh, this Rykphobia would just go search Vices, and then we'd be rinse repeating, and then access code game. Realistically. That's all I got for you guys.